you can uh, mute your audio and you can turn off your video till the question and answer at the end of the presentation. Uh, this way, if you do have a slower connection or any problems there, we won't get some reverb or things like that there. Uh, during the presentation, uh, you're welcome to put a question in the chat, uh, the team room's chat there, and I'll get to those after the end of the presentation. Uh, a handout for this presentation is out on the PC Club website. If you go to the meetings and then click on the link for past meeting files, also, uh, Jim will upload it to the chat in a few minutes because uh, for the people that joined a little bit later, if he uploads it right now, they don't see the file. So he'll wait a few minutes and then he'll put it out in the chat also. But if you uh, want, you can go out to the PC Club website and download it there. I put uh, it in the chat already, but I'll do it again. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Uh, the agenda will cover some uh, uh, club status, and then we'll get to our main topic. So the future meetings uh, this Friday, we do have a MAXIG. Uh, uh, so if you're not familiar with the MAXIG, they hold monthly meetings also, and theirs is this Friday. Uh, they'll cover some of the new things uh, that are coming out for the Mac, the iPad, the iPhone, the watch, uh, AirPod, HomePod. Uh, they'll talk about lessons learned, networking uh, with other updates, and the latest on Mac, iOS, and uh, M1 Macs. Also, we have coming up in August 3rd, we have our question and answer. Uh, so if you do have any questions or want to ask them at that time, uh, you can uh, do that uh, on Tuesday, August 3rd. And our next general meeting will be Wednesday, August 18th at 11.30, and uh, I'll be uh, covering uh, Microsoft Office and the alternatives. So there's a number of uh, paid and free, op free options uh, to give you your word processing spreadsheet and, and that, uh, whether it's apps, sites, uh, Google Docs, uh, uh, and things like that, different licenses. Our officers, uh, Jim is our president. Linda is our vice president. Paul is our membership secretary. Paula is our treasurer. Chuck is our recording secretary. Mike Griffin is our uh, MACSIG. And Andrew is our communication coordinator. I'm a director at large. Uh, we do have volunteers. And uh, once we get back to meeting in person and can have uh, some uh, lunch meetings and uh, things like that. Uh, we'll be uh, asking for additional volunteers there. And then I just show a picture from the 2019 picnic. I wish we could have had one this year, but uh, uh, maybe the next year uh, we'll have to make up for it there. Members old and new, you can pay your dues to Paul Ebert. He will send out uh, notifications when your membership expires. Because uh, uh, depending on when you started, that's the date when uh, your expiration or your membership expires. But just a reminder, if you are changing your emails, retiring from 3M, uh, changing internet service providers, whatever, uh, make sure and notify us so that we can keep in touch because that's the way we send out these notifications for the meeting. If you do have suggestions for topics, uh, you can email your ideas to uh, any of the board members or talk to us. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers to present on any hardware or software that you use. Could be something at work, could be something at home, or we have our monthly eBytes newsletter. Uh, you're welcome to write a short or a long uh, article for that. Website, uh, we do put our past meetings uh, along with the slides and handouts. And where possible, we'll record it and make that available. We have a deal section. We have uh, our monthly eBytes newsletter. And the link is here, but it's also in all the emails that we send out. OK, let's get to our main topic, uh, which today is podcasts. And I'll be presenting. My name is Tom Kreitzer. A podcast is a digital audio file made available on the internet that you can listen to at any time you want. So unlike a radio station or a TV station that you're uh, uh, having to listen to it live uh, when it's broadcast, 
this is uh, this is an audio file that uh, is made available. You could listen to it anytime. There. It features one or more people in a talk show format talking about every topic under the sun. Ten years ago, they were a novelty. Uh, so there weren't that many podcasts, only a handful of people doing it. Now they're mainstream. Currently, there's over 2 million different podcasts with over 48 million episodes. So it's uh, certainly uh, ballooned over the years. They're a great way to pass the time uh, by listening or, or learning something new, uh, whether you're commuting, working, walking, at the gym, relaxing, just about anywhere. The frequency uh, of these podcasts, when new ones come out, is on demand with new uh, episodes released, in some cases daily, some of them it's weekly, some of them it's monthly, or some of them it's all the episodes at one time. So uh, you have a wide variety there. Episodes can be uh, received by subscribers automatically to your phone, tablet, smart speaker, or computer. Okay, some podcasts, so there's over 2 million podcasts there. Some podcasts have millions of listeners, while others have less than 10. I got a kick out of uh, uh, GarageLogic. Uh, some of the crew there had gone to a convention, a podcast convention, and uh, uh, there was a woman who came up to uh, one of them and was asking about how they manage their podcast. And uh, uh, when uh, one of the people asked her, well, how many subscribers do you have? And she mentioned 10. And he said, oh, 10,000? And she goes, no, 10 subscribers. She had a podcast on cats, and she's uh, looking to improve that. So they do a wide variety there of... Uh, number of people listening, and with two million of them, it, it, certainly some of them don't have hardly any there. Podcast actually started back in the days of the iPod. So when the iPod came out uh, to listen to music, uh, people who uh, want, didn't necessarily want to listen to music or wanted an alternative to music, uh, the podcast was created where people could record something in an audio format make it available, just like a song that people could download and listen to. And so that's where the name came from. So pod and podcast stands for the iPod. Uh, uh, so that's a little, little history there. Streaming apps and podcasting services provide a convenient and integrated way to manage a personal consumption queue across many podcast sources and playback devices. Because we all typically have a number of devices uh, and that these uh, sites and apps and things like that can make it easy, as you'll see, to, uh, to listen to your podcasts across all these different devices. Uh, podcasts can be created for anywhere between zero, because it doesn't cost you anything, uh, or it could cost a million dollars to do a series. Uh, all you need is a device. That device could be a PC, a phone, a tablet, some software, and there's plenty of free software, and a mic to get started. We, I won't go into uh, how to create a podcast. We're just talking about uh, how to listen to podcasts and, and what they are uh, in this. But just to let you know that uh, it, the world is open, uh, so anyone can create one. But if you're looking to make money, that's where uh, you want it as professional as possible. And maybe you have to hire talent and have websites and things like that. Podcasts can be any length. Uh, so some of them are just a couple of minutes long, several minutes long to multiple hours. There's no set of uh, Minimum or maximum length for a podcast. You see them all different lengths. Unlike music, so I mentioned that they are like music in the, from the standpoint that uh, 
Uh, you can download them, you can listen to them, you can subscribe to them, things like that. Uh, music, uh, almost all music, costs money. You're either buying the album, you're buying the song, or you're subscribing to a service. Podcasts, 99.9% .9 of the podcasts today are free. There's no cost associated uh, with them to subscribe to them, to listen to them, to download them, uh, anything there. Okay, next we'll talk about how you can listen to a podcast. You can use any device. So I mentioned earlier, it could be a PC or a Mac, any type of computer. It could be a, a phone, a tablet, or a smart device. Uh, you can listen on any, any of the devices that you might have. Similar to music, uh, you can stream podcasts to your device. Uh, but it's streaming means it's coming from an internet service. And so that's going to require an ethernet connection or a Wi-Fi connection, or if you're using your phone, uh, it's using your phone data plan. So that's one way to stream it from a, from a, ser a server there. If you have a limited phone data plan or no connection to Wi-Fi or no phone connection, uh, you will want to download the podcast to your device and take them with you. So that's the second way that you can listen, by downloading them to your device and listening to them that way. Personally, uh, my smartphone plan has a one gigabyte uh, data limit, and I don't like to exceed it. So I download what I listen to uh, on my phone, and I don't use any of my phone data plan uh, connection there. So uh, that's uh, definitely an option uh, that you can do. Uh, what are the top softwares or ways to listen to podcasts? Well, the number one uh, is using Google Podcasts. And this is a software and apps, a combination of software and apps. Uh, the app is standard on all Android devices. So if you have an Android device, you already have Google Podcasts on it. Uh, they also make a version for the Apple operating system. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, uh, you can download Google Podcasts for that. Uh, and also it works on most browsers and most devices. So it's, it's available across the board on almost every device there. This is the, the app, and I'll talk about it uh, later on that, is what I personally use. It doesn't have any ads, uh, so that's the benefit over a number of the other apps or software. They uh, will be popping up ads or uh, trying to sell you things or things like that unless you pay for their app or that. But there's no ads. Uh, if a podcast is not uh, on listed in its library, so all this software that you use has to connect to a server in the background. and and if that server doesn't have listed the podcast that you're interested in, uh, in this case, Google Podcast will let you essentially connect to any server in the world to get the podcast uh, that you're interested in uh, listening to there. Uh, so you can add what's called an RSS feed, which is a kind of a link, a URL link uh, address to point to where the podcast that you want to listen to is. So that's one of the advantages of Google Podcasts, and we'll talk more about in detail about that later, too. Uh, the second most popular way to listen to a podcast is using Apple Podcasts. So that comes standard on the iPhone and the iPad devices, uh, but it is only on those devices. So uh, if you also have... Uh, 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 other members of the family or, or you use other Android devices, uh, you won't be able to use Apple Podcasts on those devices. There are no ads, so that's, that's an, a big benefit, just like a Google Podcast. Uh, also, uh, within the last uh, week and a half uh, or so, Apple had an announcement uh, that they are creating a new service uh, called Apple Podcast Subscriptions, and this is with ad-free listening, uh, early access to episodes, 
and support uh, for favorite creators. So uh, more information will be coming out about that, I'm sure, in the next uh, weeks and months. Uh, but it's a service that Apple wants to make a little money. Uh, so this isn't going to be free. Uh, but Apple will uh, will come up with uh, an alternative there also. The third most popular way to listen to podcast is uh, using the app Spotify or the website Spotify. Uh, this is uh, an app that combines, so you may already be using Spotify to listen to some of your music. Uh, it uh, combines music and podcasts, so you don't have to have a separate app for each one. Uh, it does have some exclusive podcasts that it has. Uh, the free version, uh, uh, the free version has ads, and also you can't download any of the podcasts to your device. So uh, if you do want to download and you don't want ads, uh, you have to subscribe, and it's ten dollars a month to Spotify there. Fourth way to listen to a podcast is a browser, and that's basically any browser, a Chrome, Safari, Microsoft Edge, uh, from a computer. Could be a PC, could be a Mac, uh, could be a phone, or could be a tablet. Uh, this solution doesn't provide uh, very many features, and we'll talk about the features that you may or may want, not want in a podcast player a little bit later. Uh, but it lets you play it, uh, but it doesn't have a lot of options for offline and keeping track and, and some other things there. Okay, how to listen? Uh, there's thousands of podcast apps out there with uh, a few of the most po uh, popular listed below. So in the past, uh, uh, I've done presentations on the best uh, smartphone and tablet apps. And we've listed a few of these uh, also in there. But there are uh, these are some of the more popular ones. Uh, Downcast, it's great for app organizing. It also has iCloud Sync so that you can pick up where you left off. It uh, includes support for the iPad, Apple Watch, and CarPlay. Overcast, uh, smart. Uh, it has smart speed, uh, voice boost, uh, playlist filtering, and we'll talk about some of these options a little bit later, what they actually mean and, and what they do. But this is just kind of a sampling of some other apps because there are thousands of podcast apps out there. Pocket Cast, uh, great UI, trim silence, variable speed, chapter navigation, supports the Apple Watch. And, and by support of the Apple Watch, uh, what I'm talking about there is... Uh, uh, the ability to use the watch to uh, pause, to skip uh, forward, to skip backwards, uh, to maybe get some information about the current podcast you're listening to, uh, and uh, some other controls in there. Stitcher Radio, uh, uh, used to manage your podcast. Stitcher, uh, its layout is one of the sleekest and most straightforward across podcast apps. So uh, this is another another uh, app that you can take a look at. And the beauty uh, with a lot of these apps is try them out, uh, see if they meet your needs, see if they have the features that you'd like. Uh, and if not, you can go back to one of the other uh, podcast players there. Tune in. Uh, it's popular with uh, people who stream radio. Uh, so uh, it supports radio and podcasts. Okay, I mentioned a little bit earlier, all these apps uh, have support different features. Uh, and this is just kind of a general list of features that you may want to consider if you're looking for an app uh, to listen to podcasts, some of the features to consider there. Ad-free listening. Uh, so uh, uh, some of the uh, apps there will play an ad uh, before you hear the actual podcast, and then play an ad after, and occasionally in between. So they'll uh, you'll get ads that kind of interspersed with the podcast itself. Uh, additional ads, because podcasts, uh, in order to pay for the podcast, 
podcasts themselves may have ads embedded in the podcast. So uh, uh, a podcast player is just uh, maybe adding even more ads. Uh, so uh, uh, if you're looking for something without ads, uh, that uh, if that's important to you, you can find players where there are no ads. Because like I mentioned, Google Podcasts doesn't have that and the Apple Podcast doesn't have that. Uh, another handy feature is syncing subscriptions. So when you subscribe to a podcast, and we'll talk about subscription a little bit later, it doesn't cost you anything, but when you subscribe to a podcast, that just means that you're interested uh, in the podcast and you maybe want to get notified when there's new, new episodes available. Uh, keeping track of which uh, podcast you subscribe to uh, that that can be handy there. Uh, also, a history of what you've listened to, a cue, a, that's a play cue. Uh, uh, so just like music, uh, having kind of a playlist, well, you can create your own cue of the order to listen to your podcasts and things like that. Or playing without losing your place on multiple devices. And, and that's uh, important to me because I do listen on multiple devices. So I want uh, a player that will keep track of my subscriptions, keep track of uh, my queue, and uh, pick up where I left off from device to device. Uh, subscribe to new episodes. Uh, so I mentioned a little bit about uh, subscriptions, uh, where you, if, you, if there's something that you're interested in or, or want to know when new episodes come out, you can subscribe, and that may be with or without notifications, uh, notifications uh, popping up on your phone or on your tablet. And uh, unlike uh, a TV subscription or a streaming TV subscription, these subscriptions don't cost you any money. So there's no cost to subscribe to a podcast. It just uh, uh, says that you're interested in that. Uh, so with two, two million uh, podcasts out there. Uh, this is a way for you to narrow down exactly what you're interested in. Another nice feature is marking an episode as played. Uh, so you don't have to remember, gee, I listened to episode six or I listened to the episode from a week ago. Uh, you know, which, where should I pick up or what should I do there? Stream, uh, I mentioned the streaming podcasts, uh, so almost all of them will support the streaming of the podcast. Again, uh, streaming uh, connects to the server, requires an internet connection, and that could be an ethernet, a Wi-Fi, or a phone data connection to a website. Not all of them support downloading, though. Uh, so if you do want to listen offline, uh, or you don't have that Wi-Fi connection, or don't want to use your data plan, uh, you'll want to find one that supports downloading. Downloading does use memory uh, on your device to store it. So uh, if you are going to download a whole bunch of podcasts, uh, it is just like downloading music to your phone or to a tablet. It's going to uh, require storage on your device there. The other feature in the download, uh, uh, there's options usually. Some of them are manual, so you'd have to remember to go out there and download them, or it could be automatic. Uh, Google Podcast, I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, you can tell it uh, automatically download uh, X number of podcasts, the latest podcasts, and it'll keep track of that and download them automatically for you. Another feature is to remove or delete completed episodes, uh, either after playing them or because of age. So as you start listening to more and more podcasts and things like that, uh, you'll want your list to just contain new things uh, that you haven't listened to uh, and things like that. And you can usually set, set the criteria for when to remove them and uh, if you haven't listened to a podcast, let's say, in, uh, for 30 days, uh, to remove it from your list. Ratings and reviews, uh, these different apps and that will do uh, ratings of, of podcasts to uh, 
uh, enable you to explore or search uh, maybe for a new podcast or recommend. If you liked this podcast, they'll recommend this other. So uh, the ratings and reviews can be important. Uh, along that same line, you have recommendations of similar content. So let's say you were listening to uh, Unsolved Crimes. Uh, it's going to recommend other popular unsol uh, Unsolved Crime podcasts. Track activity. Uh, this is showing your history of what you've listened to, uh, which can be handy because uh, maybe you're uh, having lunch with a friend and uh, you start talking and then you say, gee, you might be interested in a podcast that I listened to, I think it was last week, and it was on uh, such and such a su subject. Well, tracking activity can make it easy for you to, uh, to uh, uh, find the exact podcast that you were listening to last, uh, last week and then share the link or the name with the person there. Closed captions, uh, this is what it sounds like, uh, if you're familiar with it on the TV screen, uh, where uh, you can turn on to display text on the screen uh, in addition to hearing the audio track. So uh, if you're having trouble interpreting it a little bit or, or stuff like that, you can uh, turn on closed caption. Not all, uh, not all podcasts support that. Uh, but some of them do, and uh, that can be a handy feature. Okay, some other features here. Uh, playlist, uh, favorites playlist, or a queue. Uh, this lets you organize your play order. Uh, so instead of, uh, well, you can basically pick whatever order that you want to listen to your stuff and just uh, add new things to your playlist so that when you get done, you'll pick up and uh, listen to something else there. Control speed, uh, so normally you're listening at, at it at normal speed, which is 1x. Uh, you can uh, speed it up to go faster, in some cases up to 3.5 times faster, or slow it down if you're having trouble uh, hearing there. This means that if you sped it up, uh, let's say you sped it up to 2x, uh, you could listen to that hour podcast in a half an hour, so that can be handy. This is a nice feature, it's called Trim Silence. Uh, so because this is our talk show format uh, where you have people talking and that, frequently there's uh, pauses or silence uh, in, the, in the podcast itself. The Trim Silence will get rid of that silence and uh, in some cases, uh, let's say it's an hour podcast, you might be able to listen to it in 40 minutes because uh, all that seconds here and seconds there where there was no uh, talking or waiting for a response is taken out. You still hear everything that was said. It's just kind of uh, compressed together there. Another uh, feature is to show the time left in an episode. Uh, so as opposed to just having the total length, it'll uh, tell you uh, instead of saying there, this is an hour podcast and you may have listened to 47 minutes, and you've got to do the math in your head to figure out, well, you've got 13 minutes left. Well, some of them will just uh, let you know 13 minutes left. And almost all of them support fast forwarding uh, X number of seconds or rewinding X number of seconds. Or if the podcast is broken up into chapters like a book or that, uh, you can uh, go forward and backward. Sleep timer, uh, this is a handy uh, feature that if you uh, have trouble falling asleep or like to fall asleep while listening to a podcast, you can set this and you can set the number of minutes or tell it uh, after it's done with this episode to, uh, to uh, turn itself off. So a timer there. Voice or volume boost, uh, this is uh, because a number of the phones or tablets that may not have the best audio uh, capabilities to play, uh, uh, you may not be able to hear that well. Well, uh, these uh, apps will do uh, some boosting of the voice uh, so that uh, it makes it easier to hear or louder to hear there. 
Apple Watch controls, like I mentioned, if you have an Apple Watch, uh, maybe that's an important thing for you to be able to uh, use the watch to uh, to uh, navigate your podcast, uh, forward, backwards, pause, uh, uh, things like that. Uh, the last feature here is pass the audio to devices. Uh, so if you're listening on your phone and you have a home stereo system, and that home stereo system or the TV, you have a sound bar, you might want to listen to the podcast on the sound bar. And chances are you have either Apple AirPlay or Google Cast capabilities where you can play the podcast on these other devices just by casting it. Uh, early access. Uh, so I mentioned uh, uh, an app may have early access to some of the episodes or, or that, that usually does have a cost with it. Um, okay, what do I use to listen? Like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I use Google Podcast. It's the standard that comes installed on uh, uh, the Android devices. I also have installed it on, I have an iPad, uh, Apple iPad uh, tablet. I have it installed on that. Uh, and I can also uh, use the browser in a window. This keeps the Android, the iOS, uh, Google Assistant devices, and Mac window devices in sync uh, for what you're subscribed to, your history, and what you've listened to. So uh, for me, that's important because I do listen on these multiple devices, and I want to keep everything in sync so I don't have to try and remember where I left off or uh, what I was last listening to. Unfortunately, uh, so I mentioned in the, in the upper bullet, bullet that uh, Google Podcasts works on the Google Assistant. Currently, uh, if you have an Amazon Alexa, uh, the Amazon Alexa cannot uh, or does not have a skill for Google Podcasts. Amazon Alexa can play a podcast but there's currently not a Google Podcast skill that'll sync your information. So uh, you can, you, if you know the podcast that you want to listen to and the episode that you want to listen to, you can, uh, you can play that on, on your device. You just uh, can't get that syncing currently today. Hopefully they'll create a skill and then you'll have that capability. But right now uh, there is no skill. I do not listen on my PC that much, but it could be used. Uh, and so uh, in your browser, and again, this is uh, whether it's a PC or a Mac or anything there, uh, you can go to the Google Podcast, and let's, uh, let's see if this works here. Uh, I'm going to open up my browser, and I'm going to go. And uh, you can see I'm at Google Podcast. And it's showing me my subscriptions. These are uh, these are podcasts that I've subscribed to. Uh, and uh, here's a little play. I could uh, start playing. Uh, this is ridiculous. I tell you, it's been a hell of a series. It has been. I, I've watched a, a lot of it. Okay, we'll stop it there. But uh, so you can see, uh, I can play. I can pick up. Uh, I can. Uh, uh, actually subscribe to new ones here. Uh, I can do a few functions. I can't do a whole lot in the browser here, not like I can in the app. But let's do this. Let's go back. So it shows my subscriptions and my current episodes. Uh, the playback is basic, doesn't have a whole lot of uh, functions there, uh, but I can search uh, and there's not too many other features there. What I use the most on my phone and on my iPad and that is the Google Podcast app. And uh, we'll take a look at the Google Podcast app. That's what you're seeing over on the right here. Uh, this is, uh, we're currently have open the uh, home tab or the home uh, here. This shows the podcast that I'm subscribed to. So this is the podcast I subscribe to. It shows the latest episodes out here has descriptions of the episode, shows the length of the episode, and I could push uh, this to play the episode, uh, but I usually add it to my queue and, and have it played that way. Uh, 
Uh, it also uh, lets me, this is uh, the button or the indicator of whether I have added it to my queue or playlist. And then this is whether it's been downloaded to my device or, uh, or not. Uh, so it has a lot of nice, uh, nice uh, uh, options there. The Explore tab, uh, so this is if we click the middle here, the Explorer, uh, kind of like it sounds like, you can search for podcasts. It'll, uh, by category, what's trending. I can tell you what's popular. Uh, it'll tell you the top podcasts uh, and uh, things like that. So if you're searching for uh, one or, or that, this is, this is a way, and it can make recommendations for you also. Uh, this last tab is called an activity tab, and the activity tab uh, has uh, four sub-tabs under it. One is the queue, so this is my listening queue or playlist, the order that it'll uh, play them, and I can rearrange it uh, any way that I want, or I can add or delete uh, items there. Uh, it also has a tab for downloads, uh, so uh, this this shows all the uh, all the podcasts that I currently have downloaded to my device. I can check my history. This is the ones that I've uh, played or or marked as played there. Uh, so if I do want to go back and see uh, if I've done something or revisit one, I can easily uh, easily find it and play it or add it back into my playlist or or whatever there. Then the last uh, sub-tab here is for subscriptions. So this will uh, show me my subscriptions. If I click on them, this is where I can set up a number of settings for that subscription, uh, where I could tell it I do want it to automatically download episodes, how many episodes do I want to download, uh, things like that. So there's a number of uh, settings that I can do per each podcast, so I don't have to have all the podcasts uh, with the same settings there. Uh, let me go back up here. Uh, so at the bottom of this uh, screen, towards this screen here, is uh, the play. And so it, it just has a play button, but if I click on it, this will expand out to give me a lot more options. It'll uh, show me more what's going on. Uh, it'll show me the total length. I can skip forward, backward. This is where I can set the speed. Uh, I can do a sleep timer. I can do the casting to other devices. Uh, I can mark it as played uh, uh, and a lot more options right from here. Okay, within Google Podcast, uh, there actually are settings. Uh, these are the global settings. So I mentioned before that there's a number of settings that you can do uh, for each podcast, but there also are global settings that you can set. So let's take a look there. Uh, you can turn on the trim silence uh, to skip the quiet pauses uh, in, the, in the deal. So again, that podcast that might be an hour long, maybe I can listen to it in 40 minutes. So uh, it's getting rid of the, the pauses in between there. Auto downloading, you can set that. Uh, settings for downloading new episodes automatically. Uh, remove completed episodes, you can set when they get removed, uh, whether it's after 24 hours, after seven days, or never. So you can, uh, you can uh, control that. Remove unfinished episodes. So if I don't get to episodes that I've downloaded or, or stuff like that, uh, you can set when they should be removed, after 30 days, 90 days, or never. New episodes from your subscription. Uh, this is, uh, you can turn on or off notifications uh, for specific podcasts of when new episodes are available. So if you're waiting for, uh, it's a murder mystery or an unsolved crime and you, you're just waiting for the next episode, you can get notified when the next episode is available. Explore sec uh, section, you can turn it off if you don't want uh, it uh, recommending other podcasts for you that you may or may not like. Uh, personally, I have it off. I don't need it to recommend. I hear from friends and family and other people, podcasts that they like and uh, that's usually how I'll uh, try something out there. 
playback section. You can turn off auto playback if you don't want the queued episodes to play automatically uh, one after the other. So uh, by default, uh, when you add stuff to the queue, when it gets done with one episode or, or one podcast that it's playing, it'll go to the next one. Okay, what are some of the podcasts that I listen to? So we'll just take a quick look. Uh, one is called Stuff You Should Know, or abbreviated SYSK. It's hosted by Josh uh, Clark and Chuck Bryant. They both write for the website How Stuff Works. Uh, they cover a wide variety of topics, anywhere from champagne to chaos theory, LSD, El Nino, true crime, Rosa Parks. And there's daily episodes. They produce new uh, new ones daily. I also listen to KS95 Radio, and uh, I like Chris Godez and Ryan. Uh, they produce a podcast called the After Hours. So it isn't uh, of the live show. This they do after they do the live show. They'll they'll produce this podcast, and it can be anywhere from maybe uh, 10 minutes to at most 20 minutes. Uh, and uh, it's just stuff that they either didn't get to in their uh, regular uh, morning show or stuff that uh, they couldn't uh, didn't get on the air there. Garage Logic. Uh, uh, this goes back. I've listened to Joe Souchere for probably 40 years uh, when he was at AM 1500, and then uh, AM 1500 went to uh, sports, and uh, Joe transitioned from. Uh, from the radio to a strictly podcast. So for the last three years, uh, uh, if you want to listen to Garage Logic, you have to listen to the uh, podcast. And there's uh, it's Joe Souchere, Chris Reavers, Kenny Olson, Matt McCloskey, John Hyde, and occasionally Patrick Royce. They have daily episodes, uh, and also with uh, Joe and uh, Joe Souchere and. Uh, Patrick or so you do once a week Monday night sports talk. And so I enjoy listening to that. Another one I uh, like, it's called The Perfect Scam. It's uh, stories of people who find themselves the targets of scams. And it's produced by AARP. And there's weekly episodes uh, of that podcast. As I mentioned earlier, there's 2 million podcasts with 48 million uh, episodes. There is literally something for everybody. So there's stuff for if you're a cat person or a dog person or a frog person or a uh, uh, lizard person, there's, there's a podcast for you. These are some of the other uh, interesting ones that I've uh, found and then a couple of recommendations from the board there. Uh, one is Murder Squad, uh, Dig Deep in Unsolved Murders, uh, Unidentified Remains, Missing Person Cases, uh, Weekly Episodes. Get Sleepy. Uh, this will help you relax and fall asleep. Com combination of sleep meditation and calming story. So you might use the sleep timer when you're listening to this uh, to, uh, to help you get to sleep at night. Dog Cast Radio. Profile dog breeds, interviews with dog owners, breeders, others connected with dogs, training tips from professional dog trainers, from basic to the impressive party peace trip. Wait, wait, don't tell me. Uh, this is NPR's uh, weekly current events quiz. Uh, have a laugh and test your news knowledge while figuring out what's real and what's made up. Uh, this was recommended by Jim Holman. Renegades, uh, born in the USA. This is a conversation between uh, President Barack Obama and Bruce Springsteen about their lives, music, and enduring love of America. Uh, despite all of its challenges, this was recommended by uh, Paula there. I've also listed a few things here. Uh, th this is a link to the 50 most popular podcasts. Uh, so if you want to see what's most popular, uh, you can see that. And then uh, I list, uh, this is another link to 96 of the favorite podcasts in eight different categories from PC Magazine. But any podcast player, like I showed in uh, the Google Podcast, that'll have the Explore se section or tab. 
you can go in and you can look at what's available and what's uh, going on out there. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. So what I'm going to do is, let me see, let's see if I can stop presenting here and I will turn back on the screen here and we'll take a look at the chat that looks like oh, come on up here I got a spinning wheel let's see here Okay, doesn't look like anything in the in the chat there, uh, but uh, you can share your video and unmute yourself if you want to ask a question. Kind of a quiet group here. Okay, Tom, this is Linda Thomas. Are you there? Yes, I am. I can hear you. I, I will speak up so that it's not silence here and just offer that there are so many viewing options these days on so many different platforms. My main question continues to be where do people find the time? You know, I have a hard enough time just trying oh, to keep. Nobody's up. nobody's forcing you to listen to. Everything. I know, but wow! But, but you know, I go out as, as an I example. I did see Garage Logic on there though, but and that could uh, have practical an, application if I had some extra time. So anyway, I just wanted to step in, say hello, offer that, and maybe other people will follow with their comments. <laughs> and hope you're staying cool in all the heat. Yep. Thanks. Thanks there, Linda. Yeah, I'll, I'll mention uh, I get my 10,000 steps in every day and uh, I listen to podcasts. Uh, occasionally, I'll, I'll listen to a little bit of music uh, and that. And uh, uh, as you can see, my background there, I do have a lot of records uh, uh, and uh, CDs and that. But I do like to listen to podcasts. So podcasts are just something that I like to have on in the background. Uh, if I'm doing stuff on the computer or things like that, it, podcasts are a great way to pass the time. Plus, I learn uh, the stuff you should know and things like that. I, I enjoy learning new things. It apparently helps all of us have opportunities to become better multitaskers. That too. That too. Anybody have uh, any other question or comment there? Okay, well, if there aren't others, let's see here. Uh, I What I can do is I can show what the app looks like. And for me to show what the app looks like, let me first uh, go back to uh, sharing my screen here. Let's see, this is going to be a technological wonder here. Uh, so let me do this. I have connected my phone to my laptop here. And we'll see if we can get it going here. Looks like we got it going here. Darn you, Tom. I was just going to hang up, and I see my initials there. <laughs> so, okay, I'll hang around for the app part. I couldn't even send a photo via my smartphone this weekend. Got down to Decora and found out AT&T does not provide service to that area. So I couldn't test my smartphone out for all the different ideas I had. So, yeah, show me an app here. <laughs> I'm already adequately confused. What's one more? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up Google Podcasts. This is what the app itself looks like. So if my basic Google stream doesn't show that, do I just go up in the search thing I, and put podcasts in? We won't go into that. Add it. To, you have it on your phone. You just have to I assume I do. go into your list of apps, and you can run it from there. Or you can add it to your uh, add it to your uh, uh, screen anywhere you want. 
So that's okay, that's but possible. not necessarily in that bundle of Google stuff I have already with Google. I and don't know how your phone was set up. It it all okay. depends on who set up your phone and what they okay. Put where. Sorry kind of, to distract you with basic stuff. Go for the app here. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Google Podcasts. This is what Google Podcasts looks like, and I mentioned this is a list of. Uh, my subscriptions here and you can add or change them there uh, did, but you can did, it, we saw that i think uh, well i showed that on the slides but this is yeah the, this is the live so this, this is, is the actual app this is the actual okay. app there and so if you want more information podcasts uh, one of the other beauties of podcasts is as you're listening to them uh you may uh let's see if this one has so this is this is stuff you should know. Talking about the RICO Act, uh, what you may see in here is links to other resources and things like that. You can just click on it, and it'll take you to uh, other resources that are available on that. So it it's more than just listening to it on the radio. If you want to get more stuff or that, you can get that. Uh, let's go back here. So let's well, play it here. Yeah, the 1812 when, uh, well, catch up. Yeah, that's I get I you. Most of you don't know how really, catch up really works. Off until post Civil War. Right. Uh, this is 1871 when a man named Henry Hines, mm -hmm. he got together with a doctor. Isn't that right? Yes. That guy, um, Dr. Wiley, I can't remember his first name, but he shows up in our FDA. So you can does, skip forward. You can skip Americans. back. Uh, you can put together uh, that. Mark has played. Who, like, eat if preservatives I, until they were poisoned. Find out whether First, something. Let me pause it here. Uh, if if I liked something in this podcast and I wanted to send it to a friend and family, there, all I have to do is come down here, similar to a photo or that. I can click on the share, and then a link, and that is going to be sent to a friend and family there, so that they can listen to the podcast. So. Okay, uh, I have a question at that point. Sure. When I press share on my smartphone this weekend with the intention of sending a photo on, it asked if I wanted to send it as a link and did I want to give it privileges. It didn't just say where to. So that's, that's a side that's discussion that we can have later on. Yeah. The, the sharing, you have to know what you want to do if you, if in the case of a photo... Do you want to send them a link to the photo? Do you want to send the actual photo? Do you want to put it out on Google Photos and send them a link from there? You have options. And, and where also, do I find also, those options? Because that was you, my you thought. You decide. You have control. So it's whatever I know, you but I wasn't up, sure whatever where you to set up, and that, and and that's also then linked to your to your contacts. So you want to make sure you have the emails and the telephone numbers and. Stuff like that set up for it's all a your separate contacts. discussion, Tom. <laughs> no, but it all it all ties together because I know. Uh, but if you if you know how to share, you can share this stuff. If you haven't shared before, what you should do is practice. That's it doesn't cost you anything to do any of these things, so you can practice uh, sharing with yourself. So you I can... need more practice, <laughs> but I do practice. Yeah. I know how to share it from OneDrive, but that puts me That's over to email. using my Hotmail email address, which I really would rather not do, but it works. So, yeah, I'm getting there. Yep, all different ways of doing stuff. But uh, So the podcast... Uh, player here you do have your options there you can ex explore and that's where uh, you have all these different uh, categories if you wanted to see uh, what's popular in comedy uh, uh, you can see what's out there you can listen to any of these and if you listen to it and like it then you can subscribe to it uh, and again the subscription doesn't cost you anything so uh, you can listen to it and if you don't like it then you just unsubscribe to it uh, this isn't like a magazine where you have to pay or or anything. You're just uh, adding it to your list, and you can subscribe and unsubscribe uh, whenever you want there. Uh, let's see. And activity. Activity is going to show me what's 
what I have here, and uh, this is the order that it's going to play them. It's going to start at the top and then take the next one. But if I want to change it, I can go here. I can move it up. I can change the order to whatever I want and uh, uh, skip them or mark this one as played or, or whatever I want if I don't want to listen to it. And the history will tell you, uh, like I talked about, what you've listened to in the past. So if you want to see what you've listened to or one that you did last week or that, you can listen to uh, whatever you want there. And downloads, this is uh, the ones that are currently downloaded. You'll see some of them I've completed, I've already listened to. And those will get deleted from my device after that setting that I have. Uh, that I set whether I want it uh, uh, daily or weekly or ever to delete it. So you can uh, change that to whatever you want. Any other questions on the app itself there? Hi, Tom. It's John Stofko. Uh, uh, I, ha I have a, a, an Android phone, and when you mentioned it comes pre-installed on, on most Android phones, I noticed that the uh, Google uh, app for that is not on my phone, but I suppose I can just get that from the Google Play Store. Uh, correct, correct. If it isn't, uh, usually it's installed on most of the phones that I've seen, but uh, if you have a Samsung or, or stuff like that, they may have put their own player on there, their podcast player. So, uh, but anyone can download uh, the Google Podcasts for free uh, on on any of the devices there. So I, 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 did, I did post a question in the chat thing about, can anybody create a podcast? And how would you go about doing that if you wanted to? Uh, creating a podcast is similar to taking a picture. Uh, I mean, in, in terms of you use the software, there's software to help you. Uh, basically, all it does is record. So you could use your phone, you could record, and you can create an MP3. Uh, once you have an MP3, it's similar to a photo. You upload it to a service. So there's all these podcast services. Now, if you want it available on all these services, you upload it to all these services. Most of them are free. You can upload it. Now, to get somebody to listen to it, who's going to listen to it unless you advertise or send a link to friends and family or something like that? That's where you may only have one or two people listening to your podcast mm -hmm. unless you, uh, you know, start advertising or, or, uh, uh, are a social media influencer and putting things out that way. It's not something I really want to do. I'm just curious. So. <laughs> uh, but you can do it. You can do it, uh, you know, uh, essentially, essentially, like I said, for doesn't cost you anything. You know, so it, so it, that's kind of the beauty of it is, is the case of uh, you can, uh, you can, you uh, uh, create it. Uh, now, if you want it professionally done, then you usually have a producer uh, and you have uh, multiple mics. You Instead of using the mic on your phone, you have a high quality mic, things like that. So yes, you can spend a lot of money creating podcasts. And some of the podcasts, the, I think it's, uh, who is it? Uh, Jeff Rogan is the number one podcast. Uh, he's making, I don't know what it is, $25 million a year uh, with his podcast. So you can make money. There's very few people of those 2 million podcasts, probably uh, uh, 200 of them are making any money, and the rest are just, uh, you know, hobby that people are doing or different things like that. And there was one more question in the chat. Um, so maybe you can... It kind of ties into that. How do you search for a podcast? So do you, would you do it by title, search for a content description, or how would you do it? Uh, it depends on what you're doing. I mean, you can, you can certainly, uh, if you're using like a Google podcast, go to the Explore, type in a few characters or the name of the host or, 
or any information that you know about it. And similar to searching for an app, you may end up with hundreds or thousands of podcasts that meet the search criteria. So uh, if, if you are looking for Garage Logic, if you start typing in Garage Logic and do a search, you're going to find one podcast for Garage Logic. So it, it's like any Google search or anything there. It depends on how specific or what information you give it. And, and so that, yeah. ex, that explore within Google Podcast is showing what Google Podcast is aware of. If you don't find the podcast in Google Podcast, then you could expand your search out, just do a plain Google search, and maybe you find that Google Podcast is not hosting up that podcast that you listen to. Uh, but if you do a Google search, you'll find a website that'll have uh, listed on there what you, what, uh, with their RSS feed, then you could add that URL in. There's a way to copy that and listen to that then in Google Podcasts. So you can listen to anything in the world uh, from anywhere uh, using almost any player there. Okay. Yeah, so I see, yeah, the description, yeah, again, you could uh, go in by title, description, uh, the host. Uh, uh, also, as you listen to items, it's going to be making suggestions for you. Of, if you like this, you might like this podcast. Uh, uh, so there's there's lots of things that uh, that can be done there. And, and uh, like John was asking about, to create your own podcast, it's similar to a video, too. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't know how many people in the club have created a video and put it out on YouTube. Same exact concept. You create it, you produce it, and then you upload it. Uh, and you upload it, uh, in this case, to these different services, and then people can then uh, search for it and add it to their subscribe to it, just like you can subscribe on YouTube to, uh, to uh, uh, channels that people have created and videos that people have put out. So same, same type of concept there. So is the Google Podcast app a place where you could upload a podcast to? Yes, yes, uh, because all of these apps uh, go back to an internet server, and that internet server is kind of the host. And uh, if you're, if you want to, if you have a podcast, you want to get your podcast out on as many of these services as possible. So, podcasts, there isn't just one YouTube. For podcasts, there's all these other servers out there, so you want to get it uploaded and available on all these servers. Because there's no there's no one uh, server that has every podcast that ever ever been made. Because personally, if I wanted to create a podcast for the PC Club, I could create a podcast. I could. Put it up uh, similar to what I, uh, if you've ever gone out to the handouts and the slides that I make available, all I do is stick the MP3 out there and I'd say, here's my podcast. You could go out there. Now, the only way you'd know to go out there is if I told you to go out there or sent you a link on how to get out there. But using these other services, Make it so that if you do searches and, and things like that, and if you start becoming more popular and start generating revenue, then you'll get advertising revenue or you may have advertising within your podcast. Uh, so as an example, Joe Souchere is, is among the top 50 podcasts in the United States for news. Uh, so out of 2 million podcasts, but they spend, you know, Joe isn't doing it for free and Patrick Royce isn't doing it for free. And they're using the Hubbard Broadcast uh, 
facilities to produce it and and to maintain uh, websites and to upload it every day to all these servers and things like that. That takes time and uh, editing and and things like that to to produce it. So they have ads within their their podcast. Now the nice thing about a podcast is, as opposed to a radio, is when I'm listening to Garage Logic and an ad comes on, I can skip forward 30 seconds or a minute or that, and I can skip by the commercial there. I don't have to listen to the commercial because uh, unlike a radio, uh, I can go forward, I can pause it, I can go backwards, I can do all these other functions. Okay, any other question or comment? Otherwise, uh, I'll thank everybody for joining uh, us today and uh, uh, Apple SIG coming up this Friday and uh, next month uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Office alternatives. And thanks for joining us. Thanks, right. Tom. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Have a good day. Stay, stay cool. Thank you.